smell that? No, <laughs> me neither. What you aren't smelling is called radon. No, radon. Huh? No, radon, the element down in the bottom right corner of the periodic table. It's an odorless, tasteless, invisible gas that can get you very sick, and it might be in your home, office, or school. Radon occurs naturally in soil, rocks, and water. When other radioactive elements break down underground, they can release radon gas. And this gas can leak into buildings through cracks, construction seams, even groundwater. When radioactive particles from radon get stuck in your lungs, they can damage your DNA and even cause cancer over time. Did you know that radon exposure is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the US behind smoking? It's even more deadly than drunk driving. And if you smoke or are around smoke and have high radon levels, you're at even higher risk. Kids are at a particular risk for radon exposure because their lungs are smaller, they breathe faster, and they have more years of possible exposure ahead of them that can add up. Many schools, offices, and homes have high levels of radon above what environmental agencies recommend. Luckily, these high radon levels can be fixed, but how do you know if your school or home is over the limit? You can get a radon test done, but better yet, you can install a radon detector to monitor radon levels over time instead of just a single data point. One day of bad radon levels isn't a big deal, but weeks or months, not great. Long-term monitoring is essential to understanding your exposure. Wanna learn more about the air that you breathe at home and at school and how to keep it safe? Check out the Air for Kids site from AirThings.